Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. My girl Gigi McGuire is here. I am here again. I love this. Three days of you. Yes, I love it. I can't get enough Gigi. It is a Wednesday. It is a hump day. Lip service came out yesterday. Sean T and Scott Blacker. They were quite entertaining. I really enjoyed them. That's going on the top of my list of favorite episodes. Really? Yes, you know okay. I love when we interview couples. Yeah. And was this this was our first uh gay male gay couple? Gay male couple. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they had I some stories. Really enjoyed, boy. Yes, they did. Okay. I love how they were so in sync with each other too. Listen, yeah, I can't cool. be living that dangerously the uh the with things one of the things the that they were doing. Yeah. Woo! All right, well, anyway, so make sure you check out that episode of Lip Service. But, of course, we got a Wealth Wednesday show for you guys today. And Alexandria Ali is going to be joining us. Uh, she has her own luxury handbag line, F&W Style. We'll talk about how she got it started. I mean, she is lit. She is popping. So I love that for her. And when we come back, of course, let's shine a light. 800-292-5150. Call us up. Let us know who you want to spread some love to. Who you want to shine a light on is way up. We gon' light the block up. I'm a shine. I'm a shine. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Shine a light on them. Shine a light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. My girl Gigi is here. It's Gemini season. Gemini season. She's going to say that for the next My birthday's days. tomorrow, so oh. I'm all excited. Happy birthday, you. Gigi. And you are having an amazing, amazing year. So Thank shout you. out to you. I'm really Really grateful and appreciative to all of the blessings that have come and mm-hmm. those that are on the way still raining down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, today we want to shine a light on our girl, Jasmine Brand. Yes. You know, her page, the Jasmine Brand, has gotten taken down. So make sure you follow the new page, the Jasmine Brand 365, 365. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm sure when she's up here, she'll talk about what happened. But it is quite unfortunate that her page is now down. So follow that new page. Um, and yeah, just want to shout out to her because she works really hard. This really is hard. not a hobby. This is her full time job. Mm-hmm. This is what she does 24 seven. And we all know there are setbacks at times in business. But when I tell you I've been speaking to her and she doesn't seem like it's going to deter her. She's still, you know, pushing forward and trying to figure out a solution. Yeah, she should. And uh, to, to all of this. So mm-hmm. shout out to her for keeping her head up because we know in business times get rough yes. for all of us. Shout all out right. To you, Jasmine. Now, who do you guys want to shine a light on? 800 292-5150. What's up, Team Marie? Hi, Angela Lee. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am doing well. Who would you like to shine a light on? I would like to shine a light on Yolanda Brathwaite. Okay. She's a cancer survivor, a kidney transplant survivor, and a domestic abuse survivor who's putting on a play at the Roulette Theater on September 14th in Brooklyn. Ooh. Hold on. Let me look. at What's the name of this play? It's called Tales of a Grown Girl Remastered. Mm-hmm. Tales of a grunt. She's been through it, okay, and came through on the other side. She's the founder and executive director at Grown Girls NYC. Shout out to her. Yes. All right, Yolanda Brathwaite. Well, thank you so much for calling to shine a light on her. She sounds amazing. Her tickets are on sale now at GrownGirlsNYC.com. All right, GrownGirlsNYC.com. All right, thank you so much for putting us on notice. Thank you, Angela. No problem. Take care. All right, well, that was Shine a Light. And shout out to all the Geminis. Yes, and the May Babies. We can't leave out the May Babies. Okay. Because there's not many May Geminis. It's the June ones that kind of take over the, the season, and those are the crazy ones. Um, But there's a lot of Tauruses in, in May, right? And I'm a May Gemini, so shout out to the Geminis and the May All you got to do is say shout out to all the Geminis, and Gigi going to have a speech ready, Hello. okay? It's way up. This is a judgment-free zone. Tell us a secret. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. And part of this show is not just showing love, but also not judging you. Okay? But I will say, it is nice to be able to get those secrets out there into the world. Sometimes it's a burden lifted off of you. Sometimes y'all just entertaining. 800-292-5150 is the number. And remember, you are anonymous. And remember, there is no judgment. Okay? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Tell us a secret. 800-292-5150. Hello, anonymous caller. How are you? How you doing? I'm good. You want to tell me a secret? Yeah, I do. I had sex with my... Well, I don't, I don't mess with him no more, but his sister, uh, my friend's sister. Oh, yeah. And why is that a secret? Just because it's your friend that's, like, off limits? Yeah, and I was big on loyalty, but it was, like, throwing it at me. Kept throwing it at me, calling me scary or whatever, and I just did it. 
Ooh. I don't mess with them no more, so now I don't care. Okay, that is so funny that we could call somebody scary and then it'll make you be like, I'm not scared. <laughs> yeah, um, it was like you tested my manhood. <laughs> Uh, who knew that that worked? I don't think that works for guys, but I guess it works. Yeah, when... I think it does. Uh, do you still talk to her, though, at least? Yeah, I do. Oh, so you like her. Why did y'all fall out? Nah, Why did... She cool. She cool. Like, we grew up. I never thought I had a shot, but then I, I did, and, I, and I, it made me regret, like, not shooting at her before. Okay, like, so, we growing up, but... so you were scary. Yeah, no, nah, <laughs> I just thought I wasn't the eye fit the part. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you and her brother fall out? Cause it was like some, some personal <laughs> with like the landlord. Like I used to live with him. So I don't I don't really <laughs> with him. No, I'm sorry, I curse. I don't really mess with him no more. Okay, so it was it's from like living playing, together. I was playing a middleman with the landlord. I get it. Some money stuff. All right. Well, thank you for calling and sharing with us. Scary. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, that was Tell Us a Secret. And remember, the phone lines are always open for you to call in and leave that anonymous secret with us. 800-292-5150 is the number. It's way up with Angela Yee. Tell us a secret. Whether it's relationship or career advice, Angela's dropping facts. So you should know. You should know. This is Ask Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and it's time for Ask Yee. 800-292-5150 is a number if you have any questions. I'm here to help you, and today I have Tiffany on the line. What's up, Tiffany? Hey, Yee. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. I'm a little conflicted, but I'm okay. All right. I'm here for it. What's your question? All right, Yee. So, I had a best friend of 10 years, and recently... I found out that she's been cheating on her fiance. Now, we all are friends. We met in college. Okay. And um, I feel bad because he's a really, really great guy. Like, he does so much for her. Again, I'm friends with the both of them. And I feel like I should say something to him, but I don't want to ruin their marriage or their potential marriage. So, like, what do I do? I think all you can do in a situation like that is say something to her about it, about, are you sure you want to get married? You're cheating on him. I'm not yeah. comfortable with this. I'm friends with both yeah. of you. And if you plan to tell him, you should tell her that. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to tell him because I don't like the way she's treating him. Um, we had a conversation already and she said she's going to stop, but she hasn't. Mm. So I'm going to tell him. And, you know, be prepared for the fact that maybe they're still going to get married. I don't know if you have some evidence because she could deny it if she's still going to keep on doing it anyway and convince yeah. him that it's not true. And so just be prepared that this is definitely going to affect your friendships. But you have, you know, you have to know that. Yeah. You, you know what? Thank you so much for that, because, again, I think that's a character flaw in I'm prepared to lose her as a friend. OK, maybe me and him today, because what if she denies it? No, we talk through text. She has, we have text messages. Okay. All right. Well, that's so fine. That's I, I want to make sure that you're protected in the situation because he could still say, all right, and they could go through it and they could still end up getting married. And then she could say, I don't want you to be friends with her either now. That's true, but she can't deny these text messages. So I'm ready. All right. Well, there you have it. Tiffany, it sounds like you already knew what she was about to do. So. Yeah, I did, but I wanted your advice. Okay, that's it. I'm glad you got all your bases covered. You got the messages. You know, as a rule for me, I try not to get involved with things like that, but marriage is a big deal, and you already told yeah. her and confronted her about it, and you're friends with both yeah. of them, and you let her know, and she's still being deceitful. And my whole thing is yeah. when people are cheating and they get caught, don't be mad at the person that told. Be mad at yourself. Be mad at yourself. And again, we are all friends. We all went to college together and grew up together, hang out. So she's putting me in a really bad position. Right. If she wanted to cheat and be low, you shouldn't have been involved, like, to know about it. Okay. Period. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. All right. No problem, Tiffany. See, y'all better stop cheating out there. And that is Ask Ye. 800-292-5150 in case you couldn't get through. And when we come back, it is a Wealth Wednesday. And we are going to have Alexandria Ali. She is an entrepreneur. She is a black woman with a high-end designer handbag line that's in over 1,200 stores. You need to hear how she got it started. It's way up.
Had a dream of living wealthy. And I don't mind sharing my wealth, dog. Getting you straight financially, mentally, and physically. This is Wealth Wednesday on Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Of course, it's a Wealth Wednesday. So my girl Stacey Tisdale is here. We are so thrilled to be joined by the one and only Alexandria Ali. And she is the founder and CEO of F&W Style. Alexandria has been featured in Oprah Daily, Vogue, Essence, in style, Black Enterprise, and she has created an unbelievable luxury handbag and accessory company that is in over 1,200 stores nationwide, Ooh. including <laughs> TJ Maxx, Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, and Marshall's. And, and you know, I love some bag talk. Yes, yes. she So does. this was exciting. I met you at the Digital Undivided. Yes. Um, and what I also love is the fact that you really are out there networking mm -hmm. in those spaces too, which is something that's important for a lot of entrepreneurs to do. Definitely. I mean, I feel like that's something I wish I started at the beginning of my business. I learned that as I went on and it's like just meeting people, you just never know how that can connect you to something else like this opportunity right, right. now. Now, let's start from the beginning of how you first started, because this was like in your blood, this yes. fashion. Yes, it is. So I started out, my mom was a designer, actually, when I was growing up in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, when we moved here to the States, I started modeling. That didn't happen. So I was like, you know what? I need to go to business school, get mm -hmm. my MBA. I did, and I worked in banking for a long time, but I just never felt fulfilled. I was not happy there. I knew I wanted something in fashion and back then nobody was owning their own brand right. so when I would talk to people about it it was kind of like what do you mean but my husband was just pushing me and he said if you want to start it doesn't matter what anybody else is saying you should start I just see a lot from your background that has led you to this place where you've been so successful today when it comes to growing up and having the access that you didn't even mm -hmm. think about it kind of was osmosis of you understanding and learning fashion mm -hmm. then working as a model that really helps you understand fashion from a different aspect too then working as a in banking mm -hmm. which helps you understand finance all of those things do come together yeah, to create like the perfect entrepreneur. Right now, we are talking to Alexandria Ali. She is the founder of FNW Style. It is a high quality handbag line. <laughs> what I love about your story is you yeah. spent nine years in corporate and you got your MBA. Yes. And then when you came to this realization with your husband's help that you didn't want to stay in corporate anymore, yeah. you were very strategic about how you went into entrepreneurship. Tell right. us about that. So I feel like a lot of people, they say, oh, you want to be an entrepreneur, you know, leave your work and chase your dreams. That's great and all. But for me, one thing I know is there's it's hard to be creative mm -hmm. when you're worried about where your next paycheck is right. going to come from. So what I did was I was like, OK, if you were to go part time, how much would you have to make in your business in order to be able to do that? So I put all the things in place. I would be an event. I would be going from store to store trying to get them to carry the line. Once we got to a <laughs> point where we were making enough for me to go part time, I did. And then again, started um, I'm working to be able to go full time doing my business and I did the plan for that and once it got to the point where it was like okay you need to make a decision if you're going to do the business or stay at work then I did but it was a step by step it was never a, it's a process yeah it's a process Alexandria Ali is here Stacey Tisdale is with me it's a Wealth Wednesday and we are talking about F&W Style find out how she started her own high end fashion line of handbags that's in over 1200 stores we have more when we come back I had a dream of living wealthy and I don't mind sharing my wealth dog getting you straight financially mentally and physically this is Wealth Wednesday on Way Up with Angela Yee what's up it's Way Up with Angela Yee I'm Angela Yee, and it is a Wealth Wednesday. I'm here with Stacey Tisdale, and I'm so excited. Alexandria Ali is here. She owns F&W Style. She's in over 1,200 stores. She is a black woman, and she's got her own line of handbags that is doing extremely well. So what would you tell somebody who is starting their own line, mm -hmm. and they're like, this is so hard to be able to do. How do I get myself out there? Mm -hmm. The branding is so difficult. The market is oversaturated. What would you tell someone? You know, when it comes to oversaturation, I feel like sometimes we um, spend too much time thinking about that focus on what you're doing focus on doing it so well that they can't ignore that you're there start one step at a time do something one thing just every single day for your business that's what I did 
while I was working full time. And after a while, all those things start to accumulate. And you really focus on staying right there in terms of what you should be doing to grow your business. You're actually in New York right now mm -hmm. on a business program with Goldman Sachs. Yes. Talk to our entrepreneurs out there about finding those business development programs. Yeah, I think stay tuned to a lot of those companies and like Digital Undivided, like New Voices, Goldman Sachs. They have these programs that really help entrepreneurs get you to the next level. So this program I was in, they looked through every single inch of our business and mm -hmm. told us how to grow, how to become the next multi-million dollar brand. And that's what this program was about. It was a grueling six months because it was almost four days a week we did stuff with this program. And being a mom and a wife and a running a whole <laughs> business, it was a lot. But I did it and I'm here for the graduation and um, yeah, so that's why I'm here in New York. You must have excelled because I heard you're giving the keynote at the graduation. I am! I'm oh, excited! Congratulations! Yes. Right now we are talking to Alexandria Ali. She is the founder of F&W Style. It is a high quality handbag line. How hard is it when this is something that is your baby and then you have to take like critique and feedback and mm -hmm. criticism because sometimes you have to like not take it personal but it mm -hmm. is personal yes it's very personal especially like as a creative that I'm drawing it so like I'm sketching out ideas that I'm having that I'm so passionate mm -hmm. about everything that I sketch but sometimes we make it and people are just like it's giving no and I just have to <laughs> I just have to it's like giving no. it's giving no <laughs> so um and I just have to like take that and understand that it's not only about my creativity, it's also about what people want. And that's what's gonna keep my business around for a long time. Entrepreneurs have to realize it's not just a one-way street up mm -hmm. and to have the multiple streams of income yes. and to pivot and yes. not always expect things to go. Yeah, I know, you know, sometimes you make it, we make it seem, and I'm included in this on Instagram, that it's like you just put your stuff on Instagram and hundreds and thousands of people are just buying it and it's just not true especially in this economy with my business in order for us to be successful there's several things that we do we do events if you look on our page we're always doing some kind of event we sell wholesale to stores and boutiques we um, also do private labeling and also work with other designers to manufacture their brand then we have our e-commerce so all these things together mm -hmm. is what makes it successful because it's always going to be up up and down it's never a straight shot up so you need all those other things to lift you up when one is going down all right well i love it mm -hmm. and also so shop at f your F yeah shop at fwstyle.com and then follow us on instagram fwstyle congratulations for everything that Thank you've been you. doing every time i see you it's like a whole nother level so yeah. that is the goal we're always. very proud it's of you goals. Aww, thank you thank you so much and you can check out wealth wednesday's entrepreneurs facebook group we'll have a lot more with alexandria and we have some great free resources for all the entrepreneurs out there all right you can watch that full interview on my youtube channel way up with ye and when we come back you guys have the last word pick up the phone tap in tap in and get your voice heard what the word is Here's the last word on Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, Gigi McGuire. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for having me, friend. You know what? There is no better way to kick off Gemini season. Than with a Gemini. Than with an actual Gemini. <laughs> okay. What's that number one zodiac sign? Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't do that without doing the shimmy. And it too. All right. Well, listen, happy early birthday. Make sure y'all hit Gigi up with them birthday wishes starting now because her birthday is tomorrow. Thank you, friend. You know, but if you want her to see it, start hitting her up right now at Gigi McGuire. You know, this is my girl for a long time through ups and downs and yeah. not in our life, though. Not in our life. Yeah, not with each other. In our personal lives. But we and both have had our ups and downs. And I appreciate you for always holding me down and being a good friend and just never being judgmental when I have my moments. Uh, I appreciate you because I just know Gigi crazy. And I that's am. all you need to know. And we'll be together at Togetherland Festival this weekend. Yes. We'll be headlining the podcast stage on Saturday. So make sure y'all come see us if you are in the Dallas area. So and if you're not, 
come and hang out because that is going to be an amazing, amazing, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, listen, I want to try to get Lotto on the show. Money Long Ooh, is going to be out there too. So many good people that are friends to Lip Service that's going to be there. So I'm sure we won't have a problem. Yeah, Labizzi is going to be there. Yeah, you know, let's see what we can surprise. surprise. Let's see what we can make let's shape. See what we can do. All right, it's a Wealth Wednesday. Shout out again to Alexandria Ali for joining us. To Stacy Tizzle from Wealth Wednesday. You can check out everything on Way Up with Ye. And of course, this is your show. So you have the last word. I have a family member, my cousin. He is now dating my ex. And we go to family events and we just don't say nothing. We just act like we don't have a past. And the family don't know nothing about us dating. We dated for like 10 months, told each other we love each other, stuff like that. Kind of broke it off. And so we just kind of played it off, you know, just kept it a secret. I want to shine a light on my cousin Amari, who just graduated from the Howard University in three years, summa cum laude, and she is going on to be an educator. Congratulations, Amari. We're so proud of you. Going way up, turn up, turn up. with Angela Yee.